What's up, fight fans? Mr. Mustache here. This Saturday, UFC 292, we got a badass bantamweight matchup between Marlon Chito Vera and Pedro Munoz. And a fight that I love. So we're kicking off the pay-per-view. You got Marlon Yeh is coming off of his lopsided loss to Corey Sanhagen. But before that, was running a four-fight win streak against guys like Dominic Cruz, where he had kicked him into another dimension, where he absolutely made Rob Font look like a different human being. And before that, basically retired Frankie Edgar, Marlon was just, I mean, he was just on a collision course to the title. And then he ran into Corey Sanhagen, where he really just couldn't get anything going over five rounds. But here, coming back against Pedro Munoz, who is coming off of a career resurgence victory over Chris Gutierrez most recently. When was that? Uh, at the Holloway Allen card. That's right. That was back in April. So he's kind of put him, himself back into that, I wouldn't say contendership status, but he's one or two wins away from fighting another top five guy, right? But I think that in this matchup, and especially, you know, because these styles make fights, and Pedro, he's a move forward, go for the kill type of guy, devastating leg kicks, but I think against a guy like Marlon Chito Vera, he relishes the guys who march forward, right? That's where he catches guys coming in. Yeah, they're going to hit him with one, two, three shots, but he's going to be able to take it. And if these guys keep going forward and with reckless abandon, kind of like in the fight with uh, Dominic Cruz, yeah, Dominic was punching him two, three, four times, but only took that one counter shot that Marlon would land that would be devastating. I think that's going to be the same recipe for success here against Pedro Munoz, where I think that where the first round, Pedro might find some success, especially in the leg kicks, going out there with body shots, body kicks. I definitely see him finding some success early on, but once we see rounds two, rounds three, we're going to see Cheeto make the adjustments that he needs to make to be able to catch those kicks and make Pedro pay every time Pedro's going to land one or two. Marlon should land one or two more devastating things. And I think the front kick and the elbows is going to be the biggest weapons for Cheeto to find success, where he's going to be catching Pedro coming in, where he can cut Pedro off. And once Pedro's moving forward, he can catch him with these elbows, the front elbows, and even the front kicks going up. I think he can catch the chin of Pedro Munoz. I think that's going to be what's going to happen round two, round three, or be able to get it to the ground and make Pedro make mistakes, get him tired and grind things out. Marlon Vera makes it dirty every single time. That's where he finds the success. Where When these guys fight clean, these guys, when he fights these tactical fighters, you see him getting pieced apart. But once these guys find themselves being a little bit overconfident, that's where Marlon makes them pay. And yeah, he can take these shots two, three, four, five rounds, right? Like he can, he can last. So, I mean, if you... Go against guys like Corey Sanhagen who can go in there and be a ninja and go in and out, in and out, in and out, and not make mistakes. That's where Marlon's going to struggle. But against guys like Pedro Munoz who put themselves in bad positions to get the finish, to get that big shot, Marlon's going to be there waiting with a really nice counter, with a bad elbow, with some sort of front kick, a knee. That's kind of where Marlon's recipe for success always lies. So, I mean, this is a perfect matchup for a finish. We can see Pedro going out there and putting on a good performance, but I just I just don't see it happening. I just I see his style being just the perfect storm for a front kick. Me, I'm just regurgitating here at this point, but that's just what I just see in my head. I think Marlon's going to go out there and get a second, maybe a third round TKO against Pedro Munoz. Guys, let me know in the comment section what you guys think is going to happen between this badass Bantamweight matchup. Love to hear your guys' thoughts. And guys, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to continue getting more MMA content by yours truly. Mr. Mustache MMA News out. Let's fucking go, fight fans.